Hi everyone, I'm Donna and if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I made these coasters. They're made from casting plaster and um, <coughs> I made several different um, shapes using different moulds. It was a bit of an experiment really. I was inspired by these coasters here that I have done with resin and ink finishes. I wanted to do several different videos on the different finishes that I do and it was just getting a little pricey using um, ceramic coasters that were $12 for a pack of four so I thought I would give it a go making my own moulds, sourcing different shapes for moulds and just getting that price down a little bit. It worked out that those four coasters that I made with the casting plaster were less than 50 cents each and that 50 cents each and that includes the um, molds that you see that are sitting on top of them so anyway um, let's get into it I hope you enjoy I hope you um, pick up some hints and tips along the way I've mixed all the casting plaster now um, and it's probably a little too, um, I've measured it wrong, so it's a bit gluggy, it sh definitely shouldn't be this gluggy and that is going to impact um, how they turn out, but never mind, this is really just a test run to see how the moulds work and I don't think that's going to uh, make a difference to that. So if the plaster is runny as it should be, once you jiggle the board, all those indentations on the back, all the external bits, they would actually disappear and it would be a smooth surface. But as I say, that's not really going to impact what I'm trying to do today. My main aim is to try out these, these moulds. Now it's on to pouring into these um, pot plant moulds, I guess that's what you'd call them. Well, I've made them into moulds, cutting down the, the potting containers. And my big hands are in the way. <laughs> I didn't think about that when I was recording, did I? Anyway, you get the general gist. You can see the, the casting plaster is a bit better consistency this time. So, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how these turn out. Giving it a quick wobble to make it all nice and smooth. And for this one is a, um, a silicon mould that's been done in the, the water mix with the dishwashing detergent. It, um, it's not my favourite method, but it's actually pretty good. Um, this one was one of the best ones I've had turn out. So you'll get to see when it comes out of the mould how it looks. I do do another um, blue one here which has got I think maybe a set of angel wings on the inside of it. They didn't come out as well but it's still still pretty cool, cool for a mould made at home with tube silicon and water <laughs> and um, dishwashing detergent. These are actually resin moulds I picked up from Spotlight. I'm not entirely sure I like them. I don't like the way they're inset. Obviously they're like that for a reason. But I don't think it's something I like. But we'll give it a go with the casting plaster all the same. As you can see I've overfilled these resin moulds so I'm actually going to scrape some of the plaster off and put it into another 
mold that I made a couple of years ago out of the silicon and corn flour mix. This white one here is the corn flour and silicon mix. <laughs> you can see the, the casting plaster is almost set. So this will be an interesting one to see how it um, actually pulls out. It should be fine. It's, um, it's just nearly set. <laughs> I might actually top this mould right up so there's a backing behind it. Um, give it a bit more structure. Yeah, right, so I'm going to leave those to set and we'll come back and demold shortly. Righty ho, time for demolding. Um, I use a fast set casting plaster so which is about a 15 to 20 minute set time um, but I think I left this for around an hour and two hours just to make sure um, these resin <coughs> mold coasters turned out atrocious and it was all my fault because the plaster was too thick and didn't go was the plaster too thick then? Anyway. I didn't push it into the cracks properly and it's not there in places. You can probably just see where the gaps are and it's uneven on the edges. Right, this is the first of the new corn flour moulds that I made and this has turned out really well. Um, I was very happy with how this one came out. A little bit of sanding around the edge and that'll be nice. I'm not too worried about the holes on the top because what I have planned for it will cover that. Um, this on the other hand turned out really badly which I knew it would because of the lines that were in the mould. Um, I might find a use for it, who knows. The egg ring mould was fabulous. It's just a shame it's not bigger. I might actually have a look around and see if I can get some bigger ones because that was really easy to pour, easy to use. Yeah, fabulous. Right, so here's my potting mix containers, my, what do you call them? Um, so yeah, they turned out really well. Um, I am... <clears throat> I glued these ones down as you saw but um, I'm going to try one without gluing them down because as you can see it's going to be a right pain to get them off the, the sheet. So these are just actually plain cutting mats that I bought from one of our um, two dollar shops so to speak. Yeah. This is the, the large square one is a really, really soft plastic. It breaks very easy and I won't be using this again. This is a bit of a fail um, as far as using it as a mould goes. But it did produce a nice little, a nice shape. But yeah, it was just too, too soft a plastic to actually use. This one on the other hand was nice. It um, was a much firmer plastic. The shame is that it's not quite big enough to use for a coaster. Um, yeah. Anyway, I will have a look around and see if I can get any 
any a little bit larger. Yeah. I didn't pour that very evenly. If I was making actual mods, I wouldn't um, actual coasters, and it wasn't just a test. I would actually measure. Um, would have done a pre-measure so I know how much to pour into each mold. So they're exactly the same. Bit of continuity going on. <coughs> so I was really happy with how this one turned out. And it's a nice easy going for um, easy mold to use going forward and it produces a a um, balanced mold because some containers have a lip on them which um, go up so you're getting a, a, a not a straight ring whereas this one was pretty good this is the mold that I was telling that it's got saying that's got the angel wings on the back so you can see that it's pretty rough and ready but um, yeah probably because I didn't take the care <laughs> that I should have. Um, this is the second heart mould that I used with the silicon and that turned out pretty cool. And the next one that I'm unmoulding is the <coughs> um, the silicon and the cornflower with that was done with the almost set plaster but it comes out all right with a little bit of and I'm not bending the mold too much so it's still got a fair bit of flexibility in it but yeah so that turned out quite nicely so there you have all the molds that I used and how they turned out What I'm trying to do here is cut the mould down so it's level, so it's not too um, deep and I can see how much I'm actually pouring into it. I will give it a better go later. Handy tip when it come to, comes to scales, I always put a piece of cellophane over my keyboard, so to speak, to save it, and I can change it out every time it gets dirty. So when it comes to the fast set casting plaster, it's around 70 grams of plaster to 100 grams, oh, 70 grams of water to 100 grams of plaster. And I've just put a little bit of paint in there. I should be using a proper oxide, but hey, I don't plan on selling them and I'm just doing it to see what the colour turns out like. And I've also put a piece of plastic on the scales themselves because I intend on dragging this off. I'm just doing an initial one to weigh it out to see how much each one's going to um, take. So the initial, this one I did and it was about 90 grams so when I slid it off I decided that actually it could do it with a bit more so when I mix up the next batch of plaster I'm actually going to make it around I think 100 and 114 grams it ends up to fill that um, mold up to the to the lip I don't know if you can see it but it's there I should add here don't do as I do do as I say when mixing plaster between different batches you should always wash your container out and never in a sink but you shouldn't mix um, plaster in a container that you've already mixed in that has old plaster in it because it will alter the setting time and the playing and the time that you've got to work with the new batch 
because old plaster will um, quicken up the setting time of the new plaster. I've let this plaster set for about oh, maybe an hour or so um, so I'm just going to quickly demold it and um, give the sides a quick sand to even it up and the one that's got the not smooth back I might just um, even it out a little bit um, you probably should wait a little longer before sanding it um, but hey worked all right and as my finished product is probably going to have resin over the sides um, it's not really going to matter too much so I hope you found this a little bit helpful if you've got any questions just ask them down below and I will endeavor to do my best to answer them So thank you for watching, I really appreciate your time and please be sure to watch or look out for the video where I finish the coasters off with resin. Mm -hmm.